Hey guys, I'm still working on hard mode Bayonet. Uh, I think, I, I think this time I'm gonna be getting a 15 turn clear. I've been trying a few different strategies. Most of the good friends are on cooldown. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce this guy's name, but he's he's built pretty well. I think I'm gonna try a few small changes, and we're gonna see if this gets it. If so, great. If not, well, this will be a failed attempt again. Um, here is Shadow. He's going to be doing uh, Katana Imperil, Gauge Break, uh, Our Breaker, and LB Fill Unit. Epsilon Nicole has been enhanced. He's going to be filling LB Gauge Healing, and that's mostly it. Stat buffing. Summer Fina and Daisy. I'm going to try Amplify with her. I think that might work. Um, here's her Shift Form. Got uh, some Resistance Gear. Uh, Cleom and Axtar are going to be a new unit I'm using. We're using their Shift Form. We're going to be capping her... Um, their LB each turn when we go for the DPS. Um, we've got 250 killer, 230 LB damage. Not the best. We're using secondary gear. Um, yeah. And then last while Reagan, we're using the shift form. We've got 260 LB, uh, 275 dragon, 300 beast. So I, sh I, sh I changed the gear slightly from my first clear. This might improve it a little bit. And this guy's got a really nice um, Rain and Fina. We've got 275 LB, 250 Beast, 200 Dragon. So looking pretty good. Yeah, so we're gonna try this. Um, I might have to start the fight over if I don't want I, I don't want this friend to go on cooldown. I want to try it again. So hopefully it doesn't happen. Hopefully that doesn't need to happen. But let's try. All right. So, so the first few turns, we're going to be mostly just like setting up and preparing. So to start off, Laswell is going to do um, a dragon mitigation. We're going to do this and we're going to imperil. Uh, Cleom, we can use these short term cooldowns, it's okay. Uh, we will do... That's not it. Yeah, we'll do the imbue. Um, an attack buff and not that one. I think this is it. Uh, I'm still getting used to this unit, so forgive me for not knowing entirely. Oh yeah, that's it. We're gonna do that. Uh, and then Rain is going to buff imbue And attack buff. Okay. Uh, Shadow is going to break and start gauge breaking. Nicole is going to stats and physical mit. Basie is going to mitigate and um, general and magical mitigate. Okay. So yeah, we're basically just waiting until a little bit later because we can't do it so early because we needed to use cooldowns so Phasey survives in the beginning. So we got to wait for those cooldowns to come off. Also, we need to fill LB gauge and all that kind of goodness. All right, um, so we're gonna like just chain a little bit. Uh, let's see, Shadow is going to break the gauge some. Uh, let's see here, before I do anything else, let me think for a second. All right, we're gonna do this. Yeah, we're gonna try to chip in as much damage as possible during this while I'm while I'm doing the setup. I've been spending I've been spending. Um, let me go ahead and cover and LB fill. Actually, we don't need LB fill yet, so we're gonna just cover. And mitigate again. Yeah, I've been spending a lot of turns in the beginning, um, just like guarding because we're not ready to DPS. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start damaging him through the gauge so I can get that like, little extra percent in for damage. All right, this this is the most dangerous turn of the fight. This is where Phasey takes a beating, um, but it doesn't really matter. It's the only it's the only turn that's gonna be like major damage. All right. Uh, let's see. We're gonna break gauge again. You know, I should have used Shadow's cooldown, but too late. Too late. All right, we're gonna use an LB with him. We're gonna go ahead and shift our phasey. 
and we're going to mitigate. We're not going to shift yet. That was my mistake. My mistake. Shift after the Meg Flare. So we're going to mitigate and provoke. We don't need healing because this, this turn the boss is not going to deal any damage. So let's go ahead and deal this. And then send rain to tag that chain at the end. This, this, this should get it. This should get it. Usually I'm getting to the boss to about 8% or so. But doing this extra damage plus this optimization I'm going to be dealing during the burst turn, I think I think it's going to push us over the edge. Uh, so this is the turn that the boss is going to Mega Flare. So we're going to do this twice to heal up. Um, yeah, let's keep on doing some damage. We are we are pushing this boss. Oh wow, we're gonna get it. All right, um, I should have used that cooldown. I didn't realize we were gonna do so much relevant damage. Uh, this is the Mega Flare turn. Let me think. Ah, uh, Faisy, what are we doing with you? We've got Mitt. We've got. We don't need LB fill. Okay. This should this should be totally fine. Yeah, Phasey doesn't need any kind of big healing for Mega Flare. Yeah, Mega Flare does nothing. Okay, um... Now we gotta start considering when we're gonna go for the burst damage. So I think we're gonna damage on turns 7, 8, and 9. So we're gonna get ready on 6, which means we're going to need the LB of Nicole. Okay, let me, let me think for a second, okay. If we're going to get ready on 6, we need an LB of Nicole on 5. Yes. Alright, so we're going to break. So we're going to get ready on 6. Yeah, we should be good. Okay, um, we need to shift for the, ele the elemental stuff coming in. Uh, we're going to... We have one more turn of mitigation. Okay, so we're going to... I'm trying to think. We're going to resist buff. And mitigate, I think. No, we're gonna resist buff. We are gonna mitigate and resist buff, it's fine. And we're gonna get ready next turn, which means this turn, we're just gonna do some damage and we're not, we're not gonna use LBs or anything, no cooldowns. Yeah, all the cooldowns come off next turn, so we're good. And uh, this is the different family, so we're gonna have to just let him chill for a second. And we'll do a little bit of chip in damage. Okay, good. So on the next two turns, I'll be able to break the gauge with Shadow. Okay. So Faisy's taking a little bit of hits here, but she should, she should be fine. Um, okay, so this turn, Faisy is going to LB. She should still have cover. Yes, we still have cover. We're gonna LB. We need to unlock cooldown and all right. Let me let me think for one second. Hold on. This this is the prepare turn. Okay, so we're going to katana in peril break and do a one gauge break. Okay, so we should be able to break the gauge next turn. Perfect. So we need to get everyone ready now. So Cleom is going to um, do her LB buff cooldown, her attack cooldown, and her LB Magnus. I think this is correct. I got this written down. Yes. Laswell is going to do his stuff, and we're going to... I 
in peril. I think. No, we don't need to in peril. No, we don't need to. But we have nothing else to do, so we might as well do it. Okay, and then Rain is going to do his LB buff, his Beast Killer cooldown, and his imperil. The Magnus. Um. No, I'm doing this wrong. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not super familiar with these units. Okay, so we're going to do... Rain's Beast Killer buff. Rain's... LB damage booster. And Rain's... Imperil. For Earth Element. Okay. Perfect. Um, now Nicole is going to unlock his LB fill thing. We don't need that. We don't need that because we're going to automatically fill LB. And we're going to do a magic mitigation buff for Phasey because I'm pretty sure hers is going to fade in just a second. Okay. And now, now it's time to start bursting. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Please, Phasey, don't die. <laughs> Please don't die. Okay, we're going to... Um, Imbue Earth, and I think we need, I think we need, um, now we're good on cover, we're good on mitigation, I guess we're good on everything. No, we're not good on mitigation. We're going to mitigate and imbue Earth. Remember we did the LB, the the amplify previously. Okay. Oh no, no, we need to shift Cleom. Do this. Um, we need to break the boss's gauge, so we're going to break stats, break gauge, and do a better defense break. Gotcha. All right, we're gonna cap with that. Uh, Cleom is shifted. We're gonna cap, and we're gonna build the chain with rain. All right, we're gonna do do you in a minute. Nicole. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Wait, one, two, send this. I, th I think I, th I think I think we're gonna get this. I think we're gonna get this. Alright, and we're gonna fill LB gauge twice with Nicole. Which also heals up Phasey. Yep. Yep. Alright, Phasey is going to cover and mitigate. Um, we're going to fill LB gauge with Shadow. Now we're going to do this again. Send, wait, 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 send, and cap. I think there's a good chance. And LB fill twice with Nicole. Last turn. All right, Phasey needs to LB again here for the Amplify. Oh, fingers crossed. Got it. Got it. Got it. Whew. All missions, too. We did it. We killed with an LB. Nine turns. Got it, boys. That took a lot of tweaking to get to get everything worked out. And that, that Amplify from Phasey pushed me over the edge. Also, not sitting, not sitting around on my freaking hands for the first four turns and actually contributing some chaining damage. <laughs> Was all that work worth a single unit of choice ticket? Probably not. But I feel better. Okay. <sighs> Good luck to the rest of you guys.